Hey guys, it's been a while since I've covered cooler control and I've realized that the UI has changed a lot. And uh, yeah, I'm going to just jump right into all of that and we're going to kind of hope for the best on this. So I'm going to do yay cooler control to see where I can get it from. And as you can see, there's two packages here in Cache OS that we could grab. If you're on other versions of Linux, mind you, uh, you will have to find a way to get these on your own. Usually check the GitHub or GitLab, whichever place the project is on. Uh, you could probably find RPMs and dev files and things like that. Please do not ask where to get them. Again, check the GitHub or the GitLab where the project is maintained, first and foremost, okay? It's not that difficult to do a Google search. Okay, we all knew how to do this since we were kids. This is a thing that we are naturally taught how to do. That's how we learn. That's how most people get to my videos. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit number two. I'm going to enter my password. And it's installed. Now, it's not that simple. Okay? We're going to type clear because doing a keybind to do clear doesn't actually clear the terminal. System, CTL, enable, dash dash now, Gula control D dot service. Done. And we're going to exit that. Next thing, we need to talk about if your fans will work or not. What you need to understand first and foremost is that if you're on Asus, you are screwed. Okay? Asus is one has one of the most hackiest BIOSes firmware that you will ever see on the entire planet. Simple as that. Just there's zero justification for it. And also Lenovo is sort of the same way. Where HP, Dell, and other things somewhat will work out of the box. Dell requires a certain thing to be installed. Uh, I forget the name of it. We'll try to go over it. But... If I want the best out of my system, I'm going to need this right here. The IT87 DKMS kit. So I'm going to install this. And if you're if you're going to do this for ASUS, you're going to need to figure out what you need. I can't help you with that. Please try to remember that. I don't know every source of information. I am not Google and I am not an owl. For those who understand that, Harry Potter reference... And for those who don't, get some goddamn culture in your blood. Jesus Christ, living under a rock is boring. I don't know if this is actually going to build or not for the 6.18 kernel. It seems it's building. It's built, so it's great. And after that's done, we should just be able to go and open up Cooler Control. What was this? What was the thing? Are you Freezer? You think this is Frieza? No, this is Monsieur Kula, Frieza's brother. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna skip all of this, and we're in for some. I don't know why they even bother to um, start this in non-light mode. Are you, are you guys trying to kill me or something? Doc, there we go. Great. All right, so let's start on this side. Let's go back here to the home uh as you can see we have a whole bunch of temperature readings this is because we just installed that thing okay it even tells me the temperature reading of my my uh my network card which is great and it shows me the fans of my graphics card the 5070 ti but it right now doesn't show the fans for my system that i know of unless yeah, no, I forgot I am controlling my system fans uh, from within my mother BIOS. They're always set to max because I'm sadistic like that. But yeah, we're at 54, 36. So you click a fan, okay? And what you could do is you can change it from automatic to manual. You set it to 75. You can click a fan. Right, and of course you have to hit save afterwards. And again, you can click another fan, set it to manual, hit save, 75%, there we go. And that's 
the gist of it for needing to set up certain things, right? It gives you an overview of your temperatures and things like that. But again, uh, if you have certain things that you require to get done, as I've said before, you might need certain DKMS modules to get it. Like, I don't know, let's just search ASUS. All right, so for ASUS, uh, no. Let's try ASUS fan. So there's fan DKMS inside various laptops. Uh, there's your Zenbook stuff, script to control fans, temperature curves, tough manager. All the stuff is there, right? But what if we do ASUS DKMS? So you have a whole bunch of stuff. The, the things that say that they're orphaned, ignore them. Okay, right there. Uh, ASUS Nano, something adapter, uh, Wi-Fi driver for real tech. Like, there's some stuff here, right? And if we search Dell, DKMS, there's nothing. IK? No. Okay, let's just search Dell. We'll find it eventually. It can't be that many things, right? So there's a whole bunch of Dell stuff in here right there. This is what you need. The I8K utils. This controls fans for my Dell laptop. For desktops, I'm not sure exactly what you need. I've never had a Dell desktop. I don't think I'm ever going to buy a Dell desktop. But there's enough stuff in here uh, that you could probably figure it out. And um, God knows one of you will try G chat GPT-5 or whatever to figure stuff out. If you do that, that's completely fine. I don't have any issues with that. But yeah, there you go. Um, that's how to install it. That's how to set it up. Uh, that's what thing is required for my specific motherboard. And we're going to do one more thing. Okay. Um, I don't know if LM sensors is installed, but sudo sensor. Detect. And we're going to enter our password. And I'm just going to do that. We're going to close this. I'm going to quit that. We're going to open up Qlet Control. And I think I'm going to need to restart the daemon right here. Uh. I don't really know how to restart the daemon, which is a problem. Can we just like do this? Could not be established. We try. Yeah, I don't know, but that shows up. A whole bunch of other stuff shows up. That's all I really need. Uh, there used to be a restart button for the daemon, which is really, really, really weird. Like, I don't know what happened to that. Restart Damon and UI. Yes, please. So they just moved it. Again, they've been moving stuff around in the application for a while, but there we go. There's all my system fans and everything like that. And uh, now we can control everything. So that's what Sensor Detect does. So it ends up bringing out more of what we want to see. Anyway, I'm off. If you're new here, subscribe. If you liked the video, let me know. Leave a comment. Leave a like on the video. It helps the AI, the, the, the evil AI algorithm which controls YouTube instead of actual humans that give a damn. Um, subscribing helps lots. If you really appreciate the help and whatnot, you can become a member on YouTube. Uh, trust me, it's really cheap and affordable, so that should help. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, everybody.